Hello and welcome to another Decoder Snippet. Today we analyze swings and voting patterns in the last elections in 2019, which of course form the foundation of these 2024 elections. The first major factor that stands out in 2019 is the Modi effect. In fact, in 2019, all voting patterns were influenced by the popularity of Prime Minister Modi, but also they were impacted by a big terrorist attack in Pulwama. So 2019 was effectively a combination of Modi and Pulwama. The data shows that in the state elections, the BJP vote was just 34%. But in the Lok Sabha elections, in the same states after Pulwama and with Modi as the key, the BJP vote went up to 46%, indicating that the Modi effect coupled with the Pulwama effect together was as high as 12%. Now, it's difficult to segregate the Modi effect from the Pulwama effect. However, it's clear that on its own, the Pulwama effect was dramatic. Before Pulwama, according to international bookmakers' odds, the percentage chance of the BJP winning was 69 to 70%. Then, in February 2019, the Pulwama terrorist attack happened, followed by the cross-border punishment to Pakistan. And the impact was huge. The BJP's percentage chance of winning went up from 70 to nearly 90. Clearly, Pulwama had a huge impact. It caused a massive rise of 19 to 20% in the chances of the BJP winning. These are not opinion poll figures, but the winning odds offered by bookies in England. Dorab, so uh, some analysts are now trying to figure out whether the building of the Ram Mandir at Ayodhya will give the BJP a kind of bump that's equal to Pulwama? I don't think so. Firstly, because the, when we traveled, we spoke to people about the Ram Mandir. Beyond a few northern states, it wasn't the impact. But more important, Pulwama was like 2000 in America, you know, 9-11. It's a boom, a shot. While the Ram Mandir has been going on for 20 odd years, finally got built. So I think the effect is more muted. There's still lots of devotees. But the question is the Pulwama effect, which is like a shot is no longer present. That's a good point, actually. To understand what the chances are of the BJP winning in 2024, it's important to analyze the new and somewhat non-traditional base of voters that was created in 2024, and whether the BJP can hold on to this new base. For instance, in 2019, the Modi-Pulwama BJP impact resulted in major gains among OBCs and Dalits. The swings to the BJP among these two groups were massive 10% each. The swing to the BJP among Adivasi was much lower, at 3%. Another major change in the voter support for the BJP in 2019 was a positive swing among women voters. The net swing to BJP by men voters was 1.8%. Among women voters, the swing was much higher, the net swing at 5.2%. In 2024, the BJP clearly needs to hold on to this voter base if it's to improve its performance. Similarly, looking at the age group support of the BJP in 2019, the biggest swing caused by the Modi-Pulwama BJP impact was among older voters, with a huge 9% swing compared with a lower 5% swing among younger voters. In addition to this strong base of the BJP among urban voters was intensified with the Modi-Pulwama BJP wave, which caused a swing to the BJP of as high as 8% in urban areas while the swing among rural voters was lower at 5%. Signs of the BJP not being as strong with farmers as with urban voters. So, Dhurab, will the BJP manage to hold on to the new base they gained in 2019? Obviously, they want to, but, you know, there are two areas, for instance. Since the BJP gained votes amongst women, all the opposition parties have realized. So, then you get Karnataka, Andhra, everybody now going after the same group. Urissa. So whether they can hold that base is another thing. Also, I think Fulwama didn't resonate as much among the rural voters because I think of the information gap, of the ability to get through to the voters. Yeah. So I don't think there's going to be a problem with that. But, and you also mentioned the urban vote. It's essentially an urban, started as an urban party. It's a very strong base among the urban party. in 2019 was the impact of opposition unity on swings. The swing to the BJP when the opposition had formed a united alliance was 6%. And in 
and where the opposition had no alliance, the swing to the BJP was much higher at 16%. Voters clearly move away from the opposition when it is disunited. So there are this time the opposition is more united. Yeah. So that's going to be tougher for vision of the non-BJP Muslim vote. It was almost split down the middle. 46% of the Muslim vote went to the Congress and 48% went to non-Congress opposition parties. This division helped the BJP win more seats in 2019. Is this going to happen again, a split, or are there going to be more tactical voting this time? You know, part of the voting is in the north, say in UP, where I think the Muslims are consolidating because of the statements that are being made by BJP leaders. So I think there's going to be a fair amount of consolidation of Muslim votes. Right. Well, that's it for this Decoder snippet. Do log in to decoder.com for more Decoder snippets and lots of other information. Thanks very much.